Hi, uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm uh, Markus from Caro Electronics in uh, Germany, Aachen. We manufacture computer modules made in Germany. I'm uh, from the software department. Yeah, and I can. Uh, What's the coolest questions. new boards you talk about here? We have the iDot MX93 over here. These um, are the latest right one, there? the smallest form factor. So that's high performance. Uh, if you can go this side. Yeah, so I get your sound right there. Uh, yes. So high performance ARM Cortex A55, A55. dual core. Right. Uh, the landmark is just this small. What is just, this? This is uh, the module. This is the form factor of the module. Everything on this uh, board comes with processor, DRAM, flash, uh, and nice. power management unit. And what is the whole thing we see here? This is the evaluation board you can buy as a customer to develop your first kind of software for product and uh, it's made to later on design your own baseboard where you just solder on this, this uh, module. How much is the module? Yeah, module pricing is done with, with our sales. Depends how many people order. Of course. Can be Depen small quantity, big quantity. Depends on quantity, but everyone is welcome to contact our sales for further information. And is this like a RAM? What, uh, it looks like you yes, slap it in. Is that your uh, form factor? This is another form factor from us. We uh, developed our own standard. This is the plug-in standard. And mostly identical pinout with the solder down standard. Same chip? Same chip, both i.mx93. So where is the i.mx? Can you point to it? This is that one? This is the And what is the other stuff? The other stuff, we have the uh, flash over here. Yeah? Yeah, I think, sorry, I'm just a software guy, <laughs> but I, I think Nanya was the flash. Um, and a bunch of other chips. Yeah, we have the Ethernet Phi, also power management and uh, DRAM. Nice. DDR4L. How many years uh, Caro has been doing this kind of work? Caro uh, exists since in the 90s. To give you the exact year, uh, com producing since. Du, du, du. I work with ARM, work with NXP. To see, our company exists since 1988. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, we work with NXP, SCM32, and also Genesis. That was last the year. ARM, ARM3 in 1988. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, these are Renesas, R RZGL, uh, RZG2L. Yes. Yeah, as you can see, they also follow along the plug-in standard and also the solder down standard. Is it cheaper to do this form factor or it's more expensive because it's smaller maybe? It depends. Yeah, but we have it, it depends sales, on, huh? on, on what you need, on which form factor. Um, mostly price depends on components which are on there. What kind of software do you work with? We are, uh, develop Linux. Linux um, compiled by Yocto with kernel bootloader. Uh, you can also have Debian on ARM64, but uh, yeah, to talk from software side, that's not uh, a good way to go with embedded Why? Linux. Because, Why is Debian not good uh, way? Let's say graphic stack library or every hardware-related stuff isn't supported very good in uh, but Debian. But Yocto has graphics. That's of good, course, Yocto well supported. Yeah, Yocto compiles all the libraries you need for GPU, runtime, and other stuff. So Yocto is much more customizable and much more lightweight what you, is because lightweight is what you need for embedded products. And Debian what, is more kind of a big blob. It's fun, Debian. Yeah, but it's, it's more it's, difficult in the embedded world. It's very world. easy for someone to start with Debian, but uh, with Yocto, you, I, my opinion is uh, you cannot go past Yocto if you want to make a real uh, product. And here we have uh, SG32 MP1. That's a, a dual cluster with the A, A7, and also with a microcontroller. And Yocto is good on this, on all of them, the same? Yes, we run our own BSP. So we extend the layers from the manufacturer of the processor and uh, make it work for all our hardware. So you get all the features you need. Cool. 
Uh, what's the latest developments that have been happening with the Yocto? A uh, lot of advancements in the last couple of years, two years, a lot of things are better and better? Or uh, Yocto, Yocto is continuously growing, um, but Yocto itself stayed uh, basic. What's growing is uh, software around Yocto, like uh, Linux is developing very fast in the last years. I think we ran in the last two years from Linux 5 to Linux 6. All our modules are on Linux 5.15 at the moment on a long-term stable version. And I think that's one of our benefits we can use for. So Yocto itself is a solid tool to configure your own embedded Linux. How good is it in this new NXP? Is it great? Like yeah, the, the I'm very impressed by the Cortex-A55. Uh, since it's just a dual core, it's uh, very fast. Uh, maybe I can show you a boot up process. Yeah. Um, we can just reset it. So uh, to tell you what's going on, it now starts uh, the Linux kernel. Then it boots uh, into Western Wayland desktop. And then it launches an, an Electron Chromium-based web app which is our demonstration application so you see both Six seconds booted up seven and, yeah and we would be able to even make this a bit faster like we have one second uh, boot delay where the developer could interrupt into into the bootloader or something and we could speed this up even more if you'd like to so you saw in six seconds demonstration application was up and running and I'm What's very the coolest impressed. stuff that your customers do many cool projects? Yeah, we have a bunch of cool projects. What are the coolest stuff I might remember? Uh, since I'm a, a big fan of big machinery and, and extricators, we have a customer who does uh, controlling, some control software for big extricators. And um, I think this is the coolest one, but there are many others you might imagine. Cool. All right. Great show, no? Busy. Yeah, a lot of show, people show coming to the Embedded World. Great. We have uh, different customers showing up. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day.